you think they're involved, your parents? I don't know. Don't know. Well, based off all the stuff on the internet, do you think Brian killed Gab? I don't know. Cassie Laundrie spoke to several protesters Monday after she said they were making her children cry. TikToker Olivia Vital posted the entire interaction on her feed. Cassie revealed she saw Brian more than she let on. At Fort DeSoto on the 6th, we got there at around 2 o'clock and we left around 8 because the kids had school the next day. She said her mom, dad and brother were there. Originally, Cassie told Good Morning America that she hadn't spoken to Brian since he returned to Florida. I did not say that I saw my brother. I said I haven't been able to speak to him in reference to the time when I was called by the police. Since that point, I haven't been able to speak to my brother. Cassie has been cooperating with law enforcement since she found out Gabby Petito was reported missing on September 11th. The police has known everything that's out there the whole time. The world does not need to know what the FBI knows. This is me coming out against them. They're suffering. They We're talk. suffering. <laughs> She blames misinterpretation for what was said in the interview, and it seems there's a family division between the laundries at this time. Because they're not talking to us either. We are just as upset, frustrated, and heartbroken as everybody else. And I am losing my parents and my brother and my ch children's aunt and my future sister-in-law on top of this. The parents haven't said a word to the media since the investigation began, but Cassie oh, yeah, broke the I silence. For us, silence was not guilt. Silence was well, the FBI came telling us not to. We are unfortunately in the dark as much as everybody else. In Lakewood Ranch, Annette Gutierrez, SNN, the Sun Coast News Network.